So if you're anything like me, when Google released multi-select dropdowns, we were all like, thank the Lord, it's about time. But there's some things that came up with multi-select dropdowns that make it a little challenging to use in certain scenarios. So today I'm going to cover one of those, which is, what if you have multiple items selected, but then you want to be able to put in a formula to automatically total what those would equal up to. And so in this example, we have an item table. And so we can see 100, 200, 300, and so forth. And so in this one, we'd have item one plus item three plus item five. So you may be looking at this and you're trying to figure out, well, can I use VLOOKUP? Can I use some ifs? But you try to work them out and then it just wouldn't work because if we try to sum this up and compare these items and then go back to that cell, well, now we're not coming up with anything. And so maybe even tried to do a split here and see if I can split items. So I could split and get that first one, but now I'm not getting all of them. So we can actually do this with some ifs or VLOOKUP, but we need to use a secret formula to unlock that capability. So let's jump right in. So the formula we're gonna be using is called by row. And so what by row is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to separate these items and then go one by one and do our sum ifs or VLOOKUP on that. Now, how we turn this into an array, because it's expecting an array or a range. And so if we just click on this, it's not gonna work correctly. So let me back out here real quick. What I'm gonna do is a formula called split. So what split allows us to do is split something into an array. And so if I click on this, now how are these separated? So let me go ahead and do equals and type into that cell. And you can see what happens here is each item is separated by a comma and a space. So we can use that to our advantage in a split formula. So we can grab our text. Our delimiter is gonna be a comma and a space. And then we need to do split by each as false. Otherwise it's gonna split by every comma and space. And so not only would it split into these three items, it also split it into item and then one will be its own thing, and then item, and then three will be its own thing. So that's not what we want, so we wanna use false. What false is gonna do is gonna say, look for a comma and a space. Now, I don't have space over here on the right-hand side, so I'm gonna do transpose, so that way it goes up and down instead of horizontally, because natively, the split will just take our stuff and go uh, left to right. But transpose allows us to go up and down just like this, so item one, item three, item five. So now you maybe kind of get an idea what we can do here. So now if we can take these items and look at those prices and look at the total, we're going to be on our way. So this is where by row comes in. So by row will allow us to do something on each of those items. And so we have our array or range now. And then next we use this lambda function, which is basically by rows like cousin, I guess, if you want to look in the family realm of they work really well together. So comma and then lambda, and you're gonna see why here in a second. So lambda is gonna take this input and we're gonna assign it a name. And so I'll just call it row and you can call it whatever, but you're gonna see where we're gonna use that in a second. And then we can create that formula expression. So this would be where we do VLOOKUP or some ifs. So I'm gonna show you some ifs first. I'm gonna show you VLOOKUP as well in case you're not actually wanting to do price, in case you want to pull something else in. And so let's go ahead and do this. So row and then some ifs. And now I can do my sum ifs again. And so I can either do like this, select it and the tables automatically give me this table label there. And then go back here to my items. So if we go back to D2 or I can just type in uh, pricing and pick my column there. And then now, this is normally where you'd reference the cell, right, A2. But in this case, we took our custom array that we made here in our by row, and then we assigned it to row in Lambda, and so this is where we put row. And so now I can go ahead and close this out, and let me go ahead and reject the suggestion there, just so we can see what the result is of this function. So now we took that item one, item three, item five, and it turned it into those amounts, 100, 300, 500. And so now all we'd have to do to make it into one cell is put sum. Close it out, and then there's 900. So now if I drag this down, 
we can see that there's 600. And if I deselect an item, so 200, 300, 600. So it's automatically summing up based on whatever items we have selected. So we come down here and select item five, works just fine. Select another item, works just fine, just like that. So that is great. Now I wanna show you one thing as well here is what if we want to use a VLOOKUP? And so there's a couple different reasons you could. So in that case, we may wanna get rid of the sum unless you wanna use it in the same fashion. So I'm just gonna show you how to do the same thing with VLOOKUP, still using a sum. So I'm gonna get rid of this sum ifs, and then we can do VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP as well. But let's go ahead and do VLOOKUP and then row. And then yeah, we can look up our pricing table and column two faults and close that out. And now we're getting the same result. So 900. And if we adjust this, you can see it's still working. So let me get rid of these real quick. So one thing that this could be handy with, not necessarily in this context, but this is a way that you could take that multi-select data and then return different options. So obviously in a number format, you probably wanna wrap this with sum and get that total, but you can take that multi-select and you return other options. For example, if it came back with a category, something like that. Let me actually just show you real quick. I'm just gonna say category one, category two, and let's drag this down real quick, just like that. And so now you can see, let me get rid of this typing there. Uh, so now it's coming back with our options of category one and category three. If I do five, you see it goes there as well. And so we could even combine this. We could do something like join. And I believe the doodler comes first. We could do a uh, common space and do something like that. So then we could come back with those categories just like that from that multi-select dropdown. And again, if we take that down like that, you can see it automatically returns whatever ones we have selected. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits for today's video. I hope that helps you to maybe get some ideas on how you can use this in your projects to make things go faster and how to manipulate with these multi-select dropdowns. All right, so make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.